The points I made in my presentation uh, were really twofold. Uh, first, I said uh, that uh, People look a lot at flows uh, such as income or GDP, but we do not uh, pay enough attention to stocks as we find them in balance sheets. It's just like you want to evaluate a firm and you not only want to look at losses at profit accounts, you also want to look at the balance sheet to get a good idea of how a firm performs. Well, the same is true for countries. The second point that I made in my presentation was that if we want to value all the balance sheets and our assets, we have uh, to think how, very carefully how we do that. And I picked one example that had to do with subsoil assets, that is oil, coal, copper that you find in the ground. We constructed a measure of these subsoil assets for one country, uh, Australia, where this plays a big role. And uh, we then looked at how the overall measure of these upsoil, subsoil assets performed. It was interesting to observe that in Australia, we saw that the stock of assets was going up, even though these are exhaustible assets. The reason is that new discoveries were made because the prices of some of these assets has gone up. The question then is, if we look at these uh, indicators, do they tell us anything about the sustainability of uh, the Australian economy? The answer is they only tell us a partial story. We know that we have become richer, but at the same time we do not account for important uh, issues uh, such as environmental problems that come along with these assets or the cost that we will incur in the future because they're simply gone off the ground. So there is work to be done in additional value, valuation and in getting a handle on these uh, issues that we're not currently measuring in the accounts.